Hello everybody, thank you for watching our video. This is Jimmy Wu from Forward Pacific, your licensed architect. Okay, in last few years, uh, 22, 23, I have a similar video. Today, I want to talk about what we're facing right now. Now, we have our political issue, right? Economics, uh, and also we have wars, you know, issue going on in this world. And those are highly affecting our economies, our local economies, our country and worldwide economy. And all this will become challenge of redoing construction. Now, last year I mentioned about one thing about is important is what is the purpose of your construction project? Is it your self use means you bring your own house addition? Actually, that will be fine because in the long term, why you will make it back what you pay off today. But if you want to doing short term, like means you want to buy something, do construction, flip, or you want to buy a land, do construction and sell, that will be very high risk in this, this year because right now we are facing as a high interest rate. Although, okay, this will be different from last year. When last year, when the interest rate start raising, everybody's so afraid, so uncertain about the rate because we don't know when is the top, when is the end. But this year, we know that we reach the high point, you know, high rate, but we know that it will remain. It doesn't come down that fast. But fortunately is since the rate is kind of going to a point is kind of stable at least you know a homeowner you can count you can do a budgeting uh, last year when it's still seeing every quarter or every two months we're seeing the interest rate keep adding keep going up or homeowner will be very uh and feel unsafe to budgeting and you know, also it's hard to budgeting for their project because you don't know when you're budgeting in this month and then getting design and submit for building permit eight months later you don't even know what is the rate you know if you can afford it and in fact that happening in you know some project i've seen that people were getting the building permit but they have to cancel they have to withdraw i mean revoke their own project i mean the permit because they cannot afford the same i mean the amount which is they can now the interest rate is about more than seven percent for 30 years fixed rate and also we're expecting this this rate will last longer or actually uh, based on what we observe on the world in the national political you know economies seems like our rate may be go higher in this year now even we talk about a seven percent what is the concept about this seven percent okay seven percent rate on 30 years that you are looking at about hundred every hundred thousands of mortgage you are looking at about like seven hundred dollars per month and based on like around seven point five percent okay somebody good very good credit you can come down to maybe seven point three seven point one but you know somebody will get almost eight percent i make an average seven point five so every hundred thousand dollars you're looking at about seven hundred dollar per month mortgage so if you want to borrow eight hundred thousand dollars you mean you time set time eight so you are every monthly uh your monthly mortgage will be five thousand six hundred for eight hundred thousand dollars now then what is the versus and before like you know several years ago when we still in the low rate that time in a low rate time you will talk about three percent of a mortgage rate and then every hundred thousands for three percent rate in 30 years uh, fixed mortgage you're talking about is four hundred dollars per month that means if that time you want to borrow eight hundred thousand dollars from the bank mortgage your monthly mortgage fee is mortgage is only what three thousand two hundred right about eight times right eight times four hundred so about thirty two hundred versus if you're using the same amount three thousand two hundred every month your mortgage payment because in this few years our salary our pay rate it doesn't rise that much it doesn't go up that much so if you're using the same amount thirty two hundred a month monthly payment in today's rate you have possibly you can you can get is about five hundred thousand dollars mortgage instead of you you know several years ago you can get eight hundred so you short you know three hundred that is the difference so that's why these interest rate rates affecting a lot of homeowner when they try to uh, borrow money for you know uh, construction and or even they want to buy a house right buy a, you buy a house for renovation or even they want to rebuild so that makes a lot of people they cannot you know continue the project so this is a high interest rate uh, effect and also one thing is uh, this high rate will last longer and in future we unpredictable we don't know we go really will go down or it's actually will go up again so that is kind of like uncertain factors second one is inflation right now now inflation this year going steady so it doesn't go up fast as last couple years however it's just going steady means it's still rising you know the inflation material wise is still rising because just goes slower versus like a few years ago the 
material cost every two months changing and every two months keep adding up. At least when we seeing that on 2023, it's keep slowing down and 2024, at least cost rate inflation part is slowing down, but doesn't mean it drops because material cost is still in high. But the uh, time-wise, the logistic-wise is better than last year because of the interest rate go high, so the demand going low because not the project getting less because many people cannot get the loan, right? So they cannot uh, do their con construction project. So demand get less, so now the logistic can catch up. The material delay shortage is better than last year. Uh, last year, we we facing a lot of material store, I mean, appliance and material shortage, but this year we're getting better. Now, third one, construction size and project reduce. That is about the labor last few years when the construction is hot you know this market this industry is hot everybody's so busy all contractors busy when with demand so high then the, the price go up so the labor costs go up and now versus these two years from 2023 i start hearing contractors saying that they start getting slow they go around looking for project they're asking around for projects okay now that means the construction market starts going down and also because like i mentioned the you know interest rate a lot of project even even though the owners can borrow money, but what they can borrow will be much less. So a lot of projects become downsizing. Well, wherever they want to build brand new house before now, maybe they all oh, we don't want, I just do a second floor addition instead of brand new house, right? Or whoever they original want to do second floor addition, now they all, oh, you know what, we just do a single, I mean, the same first floor expand you know extension instead of addition on second floor right and then somebody what they want to do addition before now they want to do oh i just do an interior alteration and some homeowner be, before they want to do a kitchen bath renovation now they just say you know what forget about it we just bear with it and stay with our existing house so the project just become right cancelled so that it was seen that what happening the project downsizing and some project even they like eliminated so that means the construction contractor they're getting less fuel projects this year than before that means now in a lot of like contract they're getting less projects, so they are willing to get bargain with lower construction price for your project so that is what will happening so low labor cost will not rising up when we stay we main level or we start some project will go lower I mean, uh, for uh, construction costs. So that is, a, that is a good thing. But again, I mean, that depends on who, which contractor you are talking to. Because uh, in fact, for some good contractor, they are still very busy, okay? Because good contractor, they have return customer. Okay, and they get repetition. They're similar to like design too. You know, in this market, not only the contractor, right? I mean, also the architect, designer. You know, some designer, they're getting slower because they they don't, you know, have new customer or are like, again, same reason, right? So they, they do not have that many projects as few years ago. But some architect, they are still very busy, especially for those popular architect, uh, you know, luxury house architect, or they have good repetition, whoever, architects get good repetition they are still in busy because they get keep a lot of like return customer or referral customer from the previous right so that way we're also seeing that okay for construction too but some good contractor they are still busy but again you know there's always some contractor when owner if you have a simple job we talk about maybe we're just doing extension now instead of second floor addition now some owner say oh, i can only afford you know my first floor you know extension then maybe you don't need a a contractor that can do in a luxury house, right? You can do just regular contractor, right? So that means now those contractors, you can negotiate a better price. The last concern for factor is still about DPP. DPP right now, the backlog is on the ESCP side and we know that every round for pending for review is over 70 days. I mean, it's almost close to 80 days. When it close to 80 days, that means almost close to three months per round when we submit project. So that, that again, that also is a factor because every time when we're getting permits so late, then we're adding more uncertainty to the project because from the time you come to let's say come to architect and start design and submit permit we're looking at about eight months at least right eight months for getting your permit out in these eight months we do not you still gotta think about will that be interest rate go higher material cost go higher or construction cost go higher so that is the factor if you want to plan to do your own project on construction project in 2024 that is you need to concern about so if you get more questions, feel free to email us or, or give your comment. And then also give us a like, okay? Leave us a comment, share this with your friend, and also subscribe us, okay? Subscribe us always free. It doesn't cost you a penny. But after you subscribe us, then you will not miss our other videos. Thank you very much.